Hey everyone, uh, as an accompaniment to uh, my video series Guitar Riff Battle 1970s, I'm going to do my best to put up tutorials for all of these great classic 70s riffs. You can check out the uh, three parts of this series that are finished down below in the description box if you like. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to play the main opening riff, verse, chorus, and solo. That's pretty much the whole damn thing, isn't it? Uh, to the Edgar Winter classic Free Ride with the great Ronnie Montrose on the guitar. Now, when it comes to the solo in this one, you may know that there are actually two solos to this track. One from the album version played by Ronnie Montrose and a completely different solo on the radio version of this track with that one being put down by guitarist Rick Derringer. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. But the one we'll be learning today is the album version with Ronnie Montrose. Uh, the better of the two, if you ask me. Uh, anyway, this one is a lot of fun to play, uh, both riff and solo. So let's close in here a little bit and have a look at how to play it. All right, let's have a look at how to play the classic free ride from the Edgar Winter Group, uh, the album version with Ronnie Montrose on guitar. And uh, we're in uh, standard tuning with this one, and uh, we've got a nice clean tone on our amp, uh, at least for the uh, the opening riff. Uh, if you check out my performance down below in the description box, you will notice that I do not have a nice clean tone on my amp for the opening riff. Uh, kind of screwed that up a little bit there, but uh, you know, so playing it right, it just doesn't have a very good tone. But you want a nice clean tone, and uh, so it kind of goes like this. <laughs> And that's the riff that opens free ride. So it starts with a slide into nine of the A string. And then you're grabbing a bar at the seventh fret on the D, the G, and the B. And then you're dropping on to this little G chord here. You've got your ring finger on uh, nine of the D string. You're still holding the bar on seven and your middle finger is down here on eight. Kind of like the start me up. Kind of start me up chord. And you're going to take that chord and immediately slide it up two places. And then drop it back to its original place. And then hit the bar, the little bar chord at seven. And then you've got three or four little uh, mutes be before carrying on with the rest of the riff. And then you're going to slide back into 9 again, grab the bar at 7 again, and then drop onto that G again, off to the bar, down to an A power chord. And then more mutes. And that's pretty much the opening riff. And uh, and then it gets into uh, the, the first verse when the singing starts. And uh, that's a D. D, C to A. I'm only grabbing the two strings here of this, of this C power chord, basically. The two middle strings at the fifth fret. D, down to an A power chord. And then you're dropping on to that same chord formation that we were playing up here, dropping our uh, ring finger onto four of the D and our middle finger onto three while holding the bar at the second fret. D, C, A. And that's actually a, a D. that 
that little lick right there. That is just chromatically going five, four, three, two, with a little dead note before each one. Just holding your finger on the fret without pressing down. And then hammering on two to four and resolving it to the two of the G for a double hit. And then you're going to grab that four, pull it off to two, double bend at the four, back off to the two. And then he gets into this. So slides into six of the G, rides down the bar of the fives, full step bend at eight, back to this. Same thing he did the first time and then back into the second verse. And back into the second chorus. And then he's back into that again for the main, uh, which intros into the main solo. So he starts with the exact same thing exact same thing and now it changes up a little bit I'm just going to add a little bit of gain to my amplifier here and uh, for the solo and uh, so oh, more volume though number to this very similar to what we did earlier, except it's not a double bend. One bend, back to the natural note at four, and then off to two. And then we're into this little scale run. Just right down the pentatonic. Five, eight, hammer on five to eight. Hammer on five to seven twice of the A. Finish on seven or finish on five of the D. And then hammer on five to seven of the D. Finish on uh, five of the G. And then bend seven of the G. Ride down the bar at the fives. Full step bend at eight. I think it's a double bend actually. It is a double bend. <clears throat> now, uh, coming into this little scale run, uh, the timing, it's just a four count, but it's a little tricky when you're first learning it, so I'm just going to count it in for you. to this. So from the double bend, we're going to go 8-5 of the B and then 5-G, 7-D. And then a little play here on the 5s and 7s. Little half a quarter bend when you get on that five, kind of like this. And then you're going to grab seven, give it a little bend release off the five, and do something very similar to what we just did, bend seven, ride down the bar on the fives, and then this time instead of bending eight, we're going to grab eight and slide it into ten. So up to that point. this. So when you slide in, you're going to grab 
8 and 10, give 10 a nice full step bend on the high E, back to 8, and then finish up on 10 of the B. And then we're into this. Eight to ten on the B, down to eight of the high E, and then full step bend at uh, ten of the high E, off to eight, and grab ten of the B. And then immediately into another bend, you got to jump on the same fret. You're finishing up on ten of the B, and now you got to jump back down here to the ten of the uh, the high E and give it another full step bend, kind of like this. And release that bend off to eight, and then again grab ten of the B string. And then you're going to go eight to ten of the B. Give it a step and a half bend and release it back to the natural note at ten on the B for a double hit. And then we're into this. Eight on the B, up to nine on the uh, G, back to eight of the B, and then on to ten of the B, and down to eight on the uh, high E. Just right down, it's all in the pentatonic. This whole solo is in the pentatonic. Ten. Four big full step bends at ten on the high E, pull it off to eight, and resolve it with a double hit to ten on the B. And that is the first, uh, I don't know, half of the solo, maybe a little better. Uh, so let's run through up to that point because the next section of the solo is actually two, guitar, two guitars playing on top of each other, playing two totally different things. They're not harmonizing with each other. They're, they're both playing two totally different things. And uh, so it makes it really difficult to figure out what they're doing. So I kind of put my ear to it and I figured, okay, I'm, I was picking out the, the loudest notes uh, and, and trying to build something that you could play on one guitar and I come up with something that sounds pretty close to the original, uh, but it, you know, it's two guitars clashing with each other and uh, really difficult to figure out what he's doing. But I figured out something that sounds good, and if it sounds good, then it is good. So uh, let's run through the first half of this solo and uh, before we get to uh, kind of my interpretation of what they're doing, uh, I don't know who Ronnie Montrose was playing with at the time, but uh, there was two guitar players playing here. So. So now we're into where the two guitars start. So we're going to go eight on the B, grab nine and slide it immediately into 11 of the G, and then grab 10 of the D, of the B, sorry. And then <clears throat> two bends, half step bends at 12 of the B. And then back to the natural note at 12, back to 10, up to 11 of the G. And then a little hammer on from uh, 9 to 11 of the G and resolve it to the 10 of the B. So when you get to that 10, you're going to hit it twice, and then you're going to bounce off one note at the 12th fret of the high E, back for another double uh, pick at the 10 of the B. And then we're into this. 
this. <clears throat> Sliding into 14 of the uh, G string, grabbing 13, 15 for a full step bend of the B. And then you're going to catch your, uh, your, your pinky down here on 15 of the high E while you have that bent at 15 of the B. Release the bend off to 13. And then a nice double bend at uh, 15 of the high E. Kind of like this. Where am I? And then you're going to go 15 off to 13. Quick bend at 15 again, and then again off to 13. And then 14 of the G, back to 13 of the uh, B. And then a few bends at 15. Off to 13, grab 14. Another bend at 15, and finish the whole solo at 13. So that whole little section right in here, from this part here. That's that little section there. So let's run through the entire solo at a nice relaxed pace, and then we'll be done. cool so anyway i hope that helped you out that is just uh, a lovely pentatonic solo from ronnie montrose on that one and uh, some great blues licks and whatnot and uh you guys take care of yourselves and you know drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already and you know hit the notification bell which is kind of around here somewhere so you'll know when i upload something new and uh we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>